Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to use the Snap to Shape feature to line up the shapes on your dashboards. So here we have a dashboard that has a lot of different shapes on it. Uh, we have these shapes here with text boxes, images. We also have charts, slicers, and these are all considered shapes in Excel. And one thing we typically spend a lot of time with with dashboards is then lining up all of these shapes after we've added them to the dashboard. So in a previous video, I explained how to use some of the alignment commands uh, on multiple shapes to line them up. So if we wanted to align both of these charts or shapes to the top, we could hold down the control key and select both of those then go to the format tab on the ribbon and under the align drop down here we have all these different align options for how we'd want to align these two shapes so we'd click align top and that would align both of those to the top now if we have a lot of shapes to align up then that can take a lot of time to select multiple shapes like if we scroll down here we can see we have these four charts that we'd all like to get lined up. Uh, so we then have to go select these two charts, align those to the left, uh, maybe select these two, align those to the left or the right, and align these to the top. And that can take a little bit of time. So another way to go about this is with the snap to shape feature. So I'm just going to uh, first undo that. So we now have all of our shapes or charts out of alignment. And we'll select one shape here. Again, the format tab will appear right here on the ribbon. And then on the align drop down, we can see we have this snap to shape option. Now I currently have it toggled on. This is a toggle that you can toggle on or off by just clicking this. And we can see it has a gray box around it. So it is toggled on. So with snap to shape turned on, now when we move our shapes, uh, they will snap or align to the other shapes near them. So we can see that this is kind of snapping or aligning to this uh, chart right here uh, next to it. And once we get it in the right spot, we can just uh, release the left mouse button and it will be snapped right there to the shape next to it. We can do the same thing with this uh, chart down here. Just move it around and it'll start to snap to the shape next to it and same one with this one here. So it's a much faster and easier way to get a lot of objects lined up like this by just having that snap to shape feature on. Now, like I mentioned, it is a toggle. So if we go back to the align dropdown, uh, we can click snap to shape again to turn it off. And now our objects or our shapes will not snap uh, when we move them around. They will not snap to other shapes. One important thing to note here, though, is that if we look at the align dropdown, snap to grid is still turned on. This is automatically turned on when we turn snap to shape on, and when we turn to snap turn snap to shape off, it's not turned off. So we have to go here and click this again, snap to grid, to turn that off as well. So one little quick tip there is if you are going to turn snap to shape on, and when we now have it on, if you want to turn it off, just turn snap to grid off, and that'll turn both of those options off. We'll just click snap to grid, and we can now see they're both off. Now snap to grid in Excel will snap to the rows and columns or the cells within the worksheet. Now, Typically with a dashboard, we don't always want to snap to the cells. We want more, usually we want to snap to the shapes around the other shapes, the other charts and slicers uh, in the worksheet. If you are snapping to the grid, if you do have cells that are displaying formulas or, or data or something like that, then you can use a uh, snap to grid with this same technique. And then uh, one other little quick tip uh, is if you do turn snap to shape on, you can leave it on all the time if this mode works well for you. Uh, and again, once we select a chart here and move it around, it'll be snapping to the shapes near it. If you want to go into free for mode, you can just hold down the alt key on the keyboard and that will put it back in free for mode so it's not snapping to the other shapes around it. And that would be the command key on the Mac. So alt key on Windows, command key on Mac, We'll put you back in free form and then if you let go of the alt key will now be snapping to the shapes around it and snap to shape 
also works for resizing shapes, which is another very handy feature. So if we go up to the top of our dashboard here, let's say we want to resize this chart right here uh, to maybe just be the width of the first column of charts. As you can see, as I'm resizing it, the size or the width of the chart is snapping to the shapes below it. So we can just uh, resize it right there and it's instantly snapped to the size of this chart below it. Of course, we can resize it back out and make it to the width of this chart uh, or to this chart down here as well. So we can quickly size shapes to the other, uh, the size of the other shapes around them. So hopefully that helps save you a little time when aligning all of the elements on your dashboard. Of course, there's many ways to go about this alignment. So if you have any other suggestions, please leave a comment below this video. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.